The EPSRC was set up. That was instantly in my eyes with DSIR. I don't know if anyone else in the room remembers what DSIR was. The American system of funding through um, the agencies is very like that in industry. You have people monitoring the work, who are themselves contributing to the work, uh, perhaps slightly um, uh, in opposition. Uh, because of natural yet, yeah, but they are other side. The, 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 the research councils have nothing like that. Mm. They, they are there to give money away. Once they've given the money away, that's, they've done their job. Mm. I think that's the difference. <coughs> and I think if people like you agree with this, you're not more influential than I ever have been, but then I think that should be brought home to the research council. Mm. I'd like to know, I'm sorry to go on so long, but I'd like to know your reaction. I think I'm on top of the research council. What I would say is, I think that it's critical that industry and academia have much, much stronger links. And industry must. There's two things to do in academia. There is there is research, there is education. But for us, we're looking for uh, certain results to come out from that. Therefore, we are more demanding and pushing the the, the, the time. Uh, pressure, looking for the real results to come out of it, and looking for the big business opportunity that can come out of it. Maybe not short term, but medium and long term. Uh, therefore, we're looking for the bang for the buck uh, when, we, when we spend uh, the money there. And I think that is also very beneficial even in a research and, and educational environment because it's, it's good to see that research is not only in a book, but is actually in practice. Uh, afterwards, there. I think, as you like to say, sometimes the, in the research, uh, and I see that more when I come into that in Sweden, uh, they're much more than the UK, that, that once the money is there from the research, that's thought that the job's done. To me, the job is done when we get the results from the research, not when the research starts. And that's where I think industries, maybe somewhat shorter time horizon, is a beneficial interacting counterbalance within that in the world. But I'll pass over to you guys. I, I think, I agree mean, with all that, but I think, um, for me, the dimension that industry can help bring is a, is a direction. It's, it's a focus. It's a, it's a this, I, Harry is, is, is one of those really academics I've ever known, and he does wonderful theoretical work. But did you see how his eyes looked up when he talked about him and in the dark? You know, what really turns any research in my mind is, 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 is seeing it, seeing the fruits okay. of, of, of the thoughts and the brilliant fundamental science, but, but getting it to an end point. And what I think partnership with industry can do is, is, is to provide a direction and say, well, I, I believe any good scientist can innovate in any direction they want. I, 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 I don't really believe that, uh, that, that, that giving it a direction detracts from it. I think a good scientist can, can find challenging, interesting ways of applying their knowledge and their understanding. And I think what industry offers is, is okay, well, if you come in my direction, uh, I, 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 I want a thing that looks like this, and, and, and the fun you'll get out of this is, 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 is if you succeed in it and I succeed in it, we'll make a thing and you'll see it really running like a real estate or, or, or a bit of art. Um, and, uh, and I think that's a lot about what we can bring to this partnership. We can help guide it, help steer it, but, but my own guys will tell you, I do keep jumping on them saying, give these guys back an mm. Don't just tell them what to put in the test tubes every day of the week. You'd be far better, I think, I think uh, the Vice Chancellor said this as well. You'd be better off going and buying some contract research. If that's what you want, if you define exactly what you want to do and exactly how to do it, don't go to Cambridge. Let, give these guys a bit of freedom and let them do some Because it's the imagination that these guys have got. Going in our direction, I believe, I do have something to add, which is that um, Tony asked about the attitude of the Research Council. Yeah, well, uh, the EPSRC academics in the room will know is now telling academics that they no, wish to be, no longer wish to be seen as a funder. From now on, they will be a sponsor of research. And they see a significant meaning in that change of terminology to mean that they will continue to be more engaged beyond the point of giving the money. 
We, the academics, however, hear the phrase move from sponsor, from funder to become a sponsor to possibly mean there's no, no money anymore. <laughs> uh, so we're just a naturally suspicious lot. But we'll see how it goes. So. I think just that one thing, I think there's two dimensions you need to have in all research and all innovation. One is the, the customer pool or the need that's really out there to try and satisfy a need that is there. And, and, and many times you struggle a lot to get the customer to express the need there. So the, we've got to understand the, the, the non-expressed customer needs. What is the challenges tomorrow? So there's a customer need in one side, but there's a technology push on the other side. And there's a different balance that comes, comes from that. And you've got to allow both dimensions to work. As Alan says, if you restrict the the freedom in one dimension, then you may not get the inventions of the, or you may not get the out-of-the-box thinking that you need to have. At the same time, if you miss the real customer need, you'll invent something that's brilliant in paper, but in reality you can't do much with. So you need both dimensions all the time. And we can help balance some of that dimension, but we need to have any team to be pushing back on us to, to, to keep that technology or innovation push. Any other questions or comments? Yes, please, again, yeah. Can I ask another question? Bob here. Um, this is not to do with the methodology, but to do with the general principles of exploitation and dissemination of resources. It's a bit too much for those coming out of the European framework program. Um, obviously, there will be a certain amount of intellectual property, and that will be captured by perhaps both organisations in different ways. But what, what's your policy in terms of general dissemination, which really is to, to spread the word, to do this by publications, to do this by perhaps um, conferences that don't get together, for example, is, is dissemination. Hmm. What are your general comments on, on that aspect? Hmm. I think it's a, it's a very good question. I mean, we have a clear agreement, and that was probably the most uh, uh, challenging part of the dis contractual discussions between the uh, the SKF and, and the University of Cambridge to get the framework as to what do you do with the knowledge that's developed, who owns the knowledge, and we have a clear agreement how we, who can use the knowledge in which way, etc. But once that, once we operate within that, from our viewpoint, and that knowledge is uh, is available, from our, our view, that that knowledge can come into the public domain. It should come in. But there'll be certain things. Hopefully, we'll get out of this that's patented, that is pure IP, etc. That that we would like to use in our business, and Cambridge will use in their areas, uh, non-competing areas. But from from the the general knowledge that, that is developed as you go through this, since we're gaining from general knowledge that's also developed by <coughs> other partners and by other areas, then we have to allow our knowledge to be disseminated as well. We have been doing what I think is probably fairly standard. We are we. Before the information is published, uh, we are allowed to see it, uh, comment on it, uh, delay publication for, for, a, for a short period of time uh, so that we see opportunities for filing patents and so on. Uh, and then, then we, we can do that before the, the, the opportunity disappears when it gets into the public domain. So I think we, we, have, some, we have some pretty standard clauses, I think, for most industries can, can apply. Uh, we certainly not wish to suppress the. the no. Gentlemen, those are very technical answers to what was possibly a quite technical question, but it seemed to be we shouldn't forget the sort of soft dissemination side of the subject, which you just need to go visit Harry's website. Oh, You'll see lots of inspirational stuff for people to come into, driven by this sort of work, but up there for the young, if I can call them that, to access and be inspired by this sort of stuff. So that's a very important bit of our dissemination story we shouldn't forget. Sure, sure. Yeah. And we take a question up here. Could you add a, a modified detail to the 100 year experiment? Um, it won't be on our tour shortly, uh, but if we went over to the engineering department, uh, there's an experiment there that's getting close to 100 years now. Um, towards 100 years ago, uh, they were wanting to demonstrate how a liquid like water flows in a river around a post, and so they set up an experiment using tar, which flows very slowly, 
on a wooden slope with a post in the middle. <laughs> uh, it stays in my mind from when I first saw it as an undergraduate, now nearly 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's about inspiring. Yeah. And don't tell your children and your grandchildren, put it somewhere where they'll see it. And they'll remember why it's there. It's in the science museum. <laughs> 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 well, that may be. Uh, yeah, sorry, Harry. We probably need to stop because yep. we've got no, the tools. Uh, That's time. what I was just about to do. Say, it's probably about time to wrap up. Thank you all very much for your anxious participation. I'm sure you're eager to get on to the tours, and they will be uh, starting outside at any minute. Thank you to Tom, Alan, Harry, the VC in his absence. Thank you very much. Thank you.